Kara Golden is a former tech exec and a mother of four, and she was finding herself consuming quite a bit of waters and sodas with all these diet sweeteners in them. When she went to go look for something that didn't have all those additives, she couldn't find it. So what does any great entrepreneur do? They come up with a solution. And that's what Kara did right here in this kitchen. This is the story of him. Hint is one of the largest independent non-alcoholic beverage distribution companies in America, with product lines found in grocery stores across the nation and of course through e-commerce. But let's back up to 2003, when Kara, a highly successful executive at AOL, was in a bit of a transition after having her third child. She was wanting to get back in shape, but nothing was working. That's when she decided to give up on one part of her daily routine drinking diet soda, a decision that changed the trajectory of her life and her career. I just decided I'm gonna make the swap from diet soda to water and see if it makes any difference. Right. And so just with that change, I lost 24 pounds in two weeks. I mean, it was like rolling off. Like I kept, I thought my scale was broken. Like I was like, how could this be? And then I really started to do my research around like diet sweeteners and yeah. the way my body was reacting to diet sweeteners, you know, I was producing insulin and I had no idea. And right. six months later, I lost over 55 pounds at that point. Oh and I was like, this is so nuts. So then I, you know, was so bored of water. And finally I was slicing up fruit and throwing it in the water and thinking like, you know, wow, this gets me to drink water, it's this easy. My friends would say like, oh, what kind of fruit do you have in your water today? And yeah. I'm like, oh, it's pomegranate. And they're like, God, that's so great. Like I never thought, can I taste it? And, yeah. You know, that was like the dialogue that was going on for probably a year. Kara loved her new take on water, her family loved her new take on water, and her friends loved her new take on water. So she went to her local Whole Foods to find a product without sugar or preservatives that tasted like what she made in her kitchen, only to find absolutely nothing. Finally, I just said, I'm gonna go launch this product. I had no business launching this company because <laughs> I was like, I was a tech executive, yeah. I was, you know, not, you know, not in the beverage industry ever, yeah. but I really realized that if I could launch something that really helped people to drink water, yeah. then we could actually change health. She said, Theo, sit down. And I was like, this doesn't sound good. Uh oh. What did you assume so, she was going to say really quick? I don't know. Like, <laughs> I'm leaving you no! for someone else, or I don't know. <laughs> so I sat down and, like, patiently waited for her to talk, and she said, okay, I'm going to like start this unsweetened flavored water company but you know we're gonna do it maybe in about eight months we'll have the first product i think we can do that and that's right about when we're gonna have our fourth kid so i might need to help oh my and gosh so she's like you know pretending she's telling me about the company but she's actually telling me we're about to have a fourth kid that we hadn't exactly you know planned on what's going through your head you know, if we could change how people felt about water, if we could help them fall in love with water, we could have a huge impact on health. And I thought, you know, that's not the craziest idea. It's like a real long shot, but you know, I guess, you know, I'm in. So the clock was ticking. They had eight months to create, package, and distribute a product in an industry where they had zero experience. Needless to say, there were definitely some challenges. I started meeting with people in the industry and it became pretty clear that what she wanted to do, which was make you know, a really delicious, fresh tasting, unsweetened product with no preservatives, it just wasn't possible to do it. Join us on part two of this episode of The Grow Wire Show to see how Kara Golden turned Hint from an idea to a reality, all while trying to deliver not only her new product, but also her fourth child. I actually, you know, delivered the product the day that I was delivering my fourth child at the hospital. Once again, yeah. he's like, you're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs>